Thank you for tuning into the Black Dollar Society podcast and YouTube. Really appreciate the love. Make sure you guys click that subscribe button. Make sure you guys click that thumbs up button. Really appreciate the love. Um, so let's get into it today. So five mistakes that I feel artists are already making in 2022. Yes, I know we're only in January, but um, I work with artists on a consistent basis. And just a few things that I've been seeing recently that, you know, I, I know that um, a lot of artists are doing this. And I just want to say that, you know, these are mistakes and you want to, you know, pretty much go about things a little different. So I'm going to give you my my mistake. This is my opinion. OK, but I'm also going to give you some um, some ideas on what you can do, you know, to help with the situation. So. So first one I'm going I got to say is um, the number one mistake is investing your money wisely. Um, I've come across, you know, numerous artists who, you know, hit me up and be like, yo, you know, I want to pay this person for a promo and, um, you know, I'll go to their page and it's nothing but asses on the page, just shaking and stuff like that. And it's just like, you know, they may have, you know, a hundred K followers or whatever, but you can tell that the page is pretty much a, a, a fake page. You can tell that, you know, individuals are buying, um, followers as well as buying comments and likes um you have to be able to decipher that because if you you know you send that person they say you know we'll promote your song for twenty dollars or thirty dollars on their page and they don't really even give you you know they don't tell you if it's going to be up there for a, a day a year 20 you know they don't tell you nothing they just say hey send the money and i'm going to dance i'm going to shake my ass to your song that's a bad investment um regardless you know if it's twenty thirty dollars, I don't give a fuck. I, I need my twenty thirty dollars so I can invest it in something that's going to be, you know, productive to what I'm trying to do. So, first off, stay away from the the, the Instagram promo shit right now. First off, you know, on Instagram, you know, you you should be able to verify individuals who are replicable and who can, you know who are really, you know, about that life and who are really going to promote your shit and put your shit out there and really get views and streams. Um, you just can't go with random chicks. Um, a lot of times, them bitches don't even be chicks. They be dudes just hustling, um, trying to get niggas. So, you know, first and foremost, make sure that if you're going to pay an influencer or you're going to try to get an influencer to dance to your song or something of that nature, first off, I would say your best bet is to go to TikTok and to try to find somebody. Um, but second, you can always go to Fiverr. Fiverr is a great website for, um, you know, finding people to, you know, do the work for you. Um, so you can easily go to Fiverr and find somebody who will promote your music and your song on there, TikTok, Instagram, stuff like that, for a price, for a good, you know, for a decent price. It might be like $100 or something. But, with Fiverr, people don't get, they don't get paid until they deliver the service. So that's the way that you can go about, you know, getting things done, paying for things to get done, and then not having to worry about getting your money took. So Fiverr, make sure you check out Fiverr. Great place, um, you know, for, you know, um, promotion, advertising, marketing, stuff like that. So number two, I'm going to have to say, um, number two, is um, not being consistent. Um, I feel like, you know, we all have our phones. We all, you know, if we don't know how to post videos and post our music, then we should be doing whatever research we need to do to figure out how to do that. Um, you know, when you drop a song that, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just on iTunes. It's just where, wherever you dropped it at. Nobody's going to go listen to your song unless you you know, give them a reason to, unless you make them go listen to your song. Um, if you don't know, there's a, a law of averages. It's usually one in seven. I usually go by one in 10, um, which basically means that you're going to have to post your shit between seven and 10 times before somebody actually clicks your link and, and actually checks you out and see what the fuck is going on. Um, so that right there lets you know if you're trying to get 
listens or you're trying to get views, then you're going to need to post maybe 30, 40, 50 times a day. I mean, I'm just keeping it a buck because that's how many people you want to, you know, like I say, 40, 50 times a day, that's only giving you five people. You know what I mean? Maybe six. But it's the consistency. And you don't have to post the same shit over and over again. It doesn't have to be the same video. It doesn't have to be the same, you know, thing. You can post, you know, um, comment, not comments, but you can post like sayings and, and inspirational quotes and stuff like that with the, you know, saying that, hey, you know, check out my video here, you know, put out this quote or whatever. It's content creation. So you're just going to create some content to go with your music so that when people are on you know, Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff, um, TikTok. When your thing pops up, you know, it, it's not the same. It may be the same song. They may be recognizing the song and recognizing the sound, but it's not the same shit. So they're seeing something different where it's like, oh, okay, this, you know, he's switching it up. He's doing something different. It's not the same shit. But at the same time, don't knock the same shit because you can literally post the same shit over and over again. And people do the same thing. It's still, the law of averages is still the same. So if you post something 10 times and it's the same thing, you'll probably still get one person that's going to go check it out. So, you know, once again, just be consistent. Like I said, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be the same thing. It can be the same thing, but consistency is definitely key to getting um, more views, more listeners, things of that nature. So number three, and this is, this is something that, you know, I think everybody is pretty much aware of. Um, and that's having visuals for your music. Like, it's 2022. And don't get me wrong, the only time we're listening, listening to music more than likely, is probably in our cars. Other than that, we're probably listening to music in our homes on YouTube and things of that nature. iTunes, stuff like that. Um, but... You got to have visuals. Even iTunes and, you know, Spotify have, you know, added visuals to, you know, their playlists and their artists, things of that nature. So that when you click on the song, there's a, a visual there for you to, you know, watch. So visuals are definitely going to be a big part of, you know, your um, your business, of your music. Music has to have visuals. Nowadays, people are paying with their eyes okay that's how people pay they pay you by viewing your shit um streams is dope views is even doper all right so just keep that in mind consistency um visualizations for each song each song needs to have a visualization if you drop a song you need to drop a video with it if it's not a whole video then it needs to be some type of animation or some type of something it has to be some type of visualization there so that's what's that number three okay so that was number three so number four and um it's a lot of you guys out here for number four and that's um i think number four and number five go together pretty much but number four is stop making music for your friends um i see a lot of artists you know and hear a lot of artists who you know, are talking about things that are going on, you know, in their neighborhoods and in their life, things of that nature. And I can't relate. You know what I mean? Like I can relate to you because I know you as an individual, but the music that you're putting out is something that I honestly can't relate to because I don't do any of the things that you do. There's a lot of things that um, individuals rap about because it's something that they do in their personal lives, but it doesn't gravitate towards the masses because once again, the masses aren't doing the same things that you're doing, you know, selling dope was a big, you know, at one point in time was a big thing. It's not that big of a thing anymore. Um, people aren't selling dope like they used to. People don't sell crack like they used to. So when you're rapping about cocaine and crack and selling dope and things of that nature in 2022, you're going to have a disconnect because this isn't the nineties. This isn't the early two thousands. This is, you know, we're not coming like we, we, we're, we've been out of the crack ep epidemic for a minute. Now, don't get me wrong. It's still crack in the hood and things of that nature. But I'm talking about the epidemic where, you know, the whole hood had, you know, it was just bad. 
We're, we're not we're not there anymore. We're past that. We're out of that. OK, but of course, you know, I know individuals still hustle, still get money. That's how they get money. And and a lot of them, that's what that's the only thing they can rap about. Um, but actually, it's not the only thing they can rap about. It's just the only thing that they choose to rap about because the people around them are telling them that, oh, this shit is awesome. This shit is dope. This shit is cool. This is the dopest shit ever. But the people around you aren't buying your music. You know, the people around you, they don't need to live. They don't need to stream your music because they hear your music when they're around you. So those aren't the individuals that you really need to be trying to make your fans. They're already fans. They're fans because you, they're your friends. You need to be trying to reach out to the world and trying to reach out to, you know, the, the world, period. And you need to be rapping and speaking about things that everybody can relate to, not just the niggas in your hood. Um, and, you know, with that being said, let's transition over to number five. Number five is songwriting, okay? And four and five go hand in hand because a lot of you guys don't even write. A lot of you rappers nowadays are freestyling. You go in there and just freestyle and think that that shit is going to go somewhere. That shit is not going anywhere. Um, I'm just keeping it a buck with you. A lot of y'all aren't great, the greatest freestylers. I'm just keeping it 100. Like, a lot of y'all niggas is not good at freestyling, period. Um... I'm not saying all of you. I'm just saying a, a lot of you guys who think that you can freestyle, you guys just go in the booth and just start rapping. That shit is going nowhere because a lot of times you guys, first off, you're, gonna, you're not staying on topic. You're rapping about, you're going in there freestyling and just rapping about whatever the fuck you want to rap about. There's no content. There's no concept. There's no idea behind the song. It's just, I'm going to go in here and freestyle. And then when you're done freestyling, you come out. What's the name of the song? Uh, well, the name of the song is... Uh, you know what I'm saying? You don't even have the name of the song yet, but you didn't went in there and did a whole, whole song with a hook and everything else, freestyle. But you don't even know what the name of the song is. And once again, the song is all over the place. It doesn't have any real substance or any content. So you just made a song, you know, just just for the hell of it. So the reason I talk about songwriting is because songwriting is one of the reasons why you have multi-platinum artists and producers and things of that nature, because somebody wrote a good fucking song, okay? The song was good. Now, once you get a couple good songs under your belt, then, you know, you can go out and just start talking about whatever the fuck you want to talk about because you already have a good following and they fuck with you and you've already, you know, established that, you know, y'all rocking together. But, you know, that... That comes in time, and once again, that comes after you didn't wrote something that's that they fuck with. And a lot of times, when it comes to writing music, you know, it's it's a formula to the shit. It's a way to do it. Um, there's certain things that you need to add. There's certain things that you should be saying. There's certain type of emotional, you know, um, things that you may want to say or you may you know you may need to say so that you can get the people. To actually gravitate towards what you're talking about so you can get the people to actually get have an emotional reaction or feel something inside from the music that you're rapping you know from what you're saying it has to it has to connect and you know at least where i'm at and a lot of the artists that i work with shit's not connecting i still work with them because you know that's what it is it's work but um you know these are just five mistakes that i think we need to focus on right now in January, let's get out of this shit and let's get on to focusing on the real business and really trying to get our music out here, really trying to get some hit singles out here, trying to really get some bangers out here and, you know, trying to be successful. If this is what you want to do or music is what you want to do, then you, you got to do it. You know, you can do it your own way if you want to. It's probably going to take you a lot longer your own way because there is a way to do it. There is there are formulas to how to make hit records. Um, there are books on songwriting hit records and what entails and what a hit record consists of. So I just wanted to uh, put that out. You know, like I said, it's just five mistakes that I'm seeing early this year. And I know uh, I'm telling the artists that I work with about all this shit. And I let them know off the top, like, don't do that. You know, no, we're not going to do that. Let's keep it moving. No, we're going to do this. We... You know, you have to do that. So, you know, I definitely try to assist my artists or the artists that I work with in, you know, making the best music and putting the best things out there. But this is for the masses and for everybody. Like I stated, if you have any uh, comments, um, I mean, if you, you know, if you like, yo, 
you have something to say about the mistakes, definitely leave a comment. Really appreciate the love. Peace.